If you ever felt lost and confused during your college recruiting process and you don't know what school to choose, don't trip. I'm here today to tell y'all the things that I wish I knew during this confusing yet rewarding journey. And the first thing that I just feel like a lot of young high school athletes don't get is that it all starts with the coaches. Do they really like you? Do they want you to be a part of their program? And you'll figure this out quick because of the way that they communicate with you. If the coach is reaching out on a weekly basis, daily basis, shoot you a text, sending you over pictures, photos, FaceTime you, just staying in constant communication with you, that's gonna be the first indicator that a coach is really, really interested in you. People sometimes fall for the trick of, you know, oh, they just reached out to me on Twitter or, you know, he liked a couple of my photos and you feel like, oh, they're super, super interested in you when in fact, they just doing their daily round. We've been tricked, boys. From a guy that got recruited by over 40 plus schools, went division one. If a coach is not reaching out to you on a constant daily basis, and shooting you a text, giving you a call, sending you letters in the mail, trying to get you to come to their university, then they not that interested in you, dog. Second thing that I wish I knew going into this process was just do your research on the actual college. Study the background of the athletics program. See how many conference championships they won, national championships. Are they about to go under suspension for something that, you know, happened during the, the school year last year? Hell no. <laughs> Um, is the athletic program a good fit for you? Is it a good place to be? And not just that, but also look up the campus, you know, go visit the campus, walk around, see is this a place that I could spend the next four to five years of my life um, living at and enjoying my time there. Because if not, then you're going to make a mistake and you're going to commit to a school that you thought was a certain way because you looked it up online and it turns out that it's completely opposite. It's not what we thought it was. So just spend your time researching the actual university, the athletics program, and just go to it. Take the time to go to it, visit the school, get a feel for what it would be like to actually live there at that university, and then you'll truly be able to understand if that's the school for you. Next thing is very, very important. When you get those scholarship offers, or if you just get a school that's you know interested in you, because everybody doesn't have the ability to go division one and get full ride scholarships, but when you get the chance and those coaches invite you to the campus, take all of your visits. I took all five official visits in high school. I took them all over the country. I went to California, you know, Kentucky, Florida, just all over the country so that you can get that experience of the actual school itself. But it's going to put you around people that you're going to be around on a day to day basis, current teammates, future teammates what they do, how they live, what they lifestyle like, what type of people are they? And that's just going to give you a quick, quick, you know, introduction to what you may be experiencing for them next four to five years. It's about the people that you're around. It's your teammates that's in the locker room with you. Um, it's your teammates that you're going through the workouts and doing everything with those type of people. So if you can't even vibe with those people on a visit and you feel like, ah, this ain't it for me, then don't make the decision to go to that school. Last thing that I wish I knew during the college recruiting process is go to a school where you see yourself playing. Because if you make that decision and go to, you know, University of Alabama because they won 10 national championships in a row, but then you turn around and you're miserable because you're on the bench for three and a half years and you're only playing special teams or, you know, you're not getting as much action as you thought you would, then you're going to be highly upset when in fact you could have went to a school right down the road, it could have been University of Tennessee, where you could have came in as a true freshman and got some action and playing time. Like I said, all those other factors factor into that. You know, do you do you love the campus? Do you love the coaches? Do you love the environment that you're gonna be in? Can you see yourself thriving there? And then on top of that, can you see yourself plan early. Ask those coaches on the visit, man, and you'll know. A lot of them will cap to you and tell you, oh, yeah, 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 you can make an impact coming in. Um, and then some of them will hit you with that line where, you know, you're going to have to compete. And it's just up to you. You know, I'm a competitor myself. I'm sure you playing sports in high school. You're, com you're all competitors. But at the end of the day, it's like, man, what you want to do? You want to go over here and play at this prestigious school where you might win a national championship, but you may not see the field or get any action for two and a half, three years. Or do you want to go to this other school that's D1 as well, big time school, but it's a chance that you could play as a true freshman and get on that field, get the experience under your belt. And then, you know, that leads to other things in life. Yeah, but overall, man, just do those things that I mentioned in this video. Those are the things that I wish I knew 
through the college recruiting process and you do those things, I promise that you're going to love that school for the rest of your life. You're going to meet friends that you're going to have for life. You might even meet your wife, you know, husband, whatever it may be. But do those things, man. And I promise, promise that you'll have the decision that you want. Stay tuned, man. If y'all like this video, like, subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next. Your boy is out. Peace.